Hi everyone, Vanessa here from Butterfly Splat. It's school holidays as we all know and today we are working in our uh, meditative garden space which is in our vegetable garden because it's the only sp space we have that the chickens um, don't get into. So what we've done previously is put in some totem poles, you can see them behind me. Today it, we are going to actually start painting them. So I thought I'd share this with you because it's a simple task that you can do at home with your kids. You don't need a lot of space and you don't need a lot of equipment. You, all you need is sticks, any size you like. We're going for big ones, but um, you can use normal um, tiny little small sticks. Uh, you also need acrylic paint, paint brushes, and we're going to use some masking tape as well so we can get some semi-neat circles and semi-neat spaces without any paint on it. Now, you don't need to use masking tape, it's just something I'm going to do because I've got my two-year-old doing it with us as well today. So that's optional, as long as you've got acrylic paint, paint brushes and a stick, you can do this activity. So it's nice and easy one to do with the kids during school holidays. Now, I've just got in my hand my well, it's a takeaway container. But what I've done is I've chosen what colours I want to work with and feeling a bit in the mood for purple and pink today. So basically, we're painting big sticks, so we need a lot of one colour to do that. If you're using little sticks, you don't need as much colour. You can play around with more variety if you like. But today's purpose is to get the base colour down on the sticks so then we can come and we can do dots, we can do stripes, we can draw little mini people on there, whatever we feel like doing to decorate. But today's just the base circles or lines around the sticks. Now, so you can see I've got a lot of white. If you're mixing a light colour, you use a lot of white oh, and a little bit of um, red. Sorry for a second there, I thought I wasn't filming. So a lot of white and a little bit of red makes pink. Now, you'll see that I'm really messy with my paint application as well. And when I paint, I like to um, not wash my brush. So it might not end up the colour I want it to be, but we'll see how we go. And I've also gone for warm and cool red and blue to get my variations in shades opposed to um, different colors so i'll have a warm pink and uh you can see here it's looking a bit peachy okay so i've got my darker pink and then my peachy pink okay i've also want my purples so i've mixed red and blue together Okay, so I'll have two different shades of, or tones, sorry, of purple. Again, you can see I'm not washing my brush. It's up to you. I've got water there for later on when I wa want to wash my brush, but it's a personal choice. Now, I definitely need more red. Oh, no, it's still purple, but I might put some, I'm just going to put it flat, sorry. Definitely purple. It's a darker purple. If I want to make it lighter, I can either take a little bit of it and add some white um, or I can uh, add a little bit more red and see what happens. But I might actually go with it. So that's what I ended up with. So I've got four colours here. Actually, I'm really not liking that. I'm definitely going to, I'm going to add some red. Can I get one of my favourite girls to... Um, Which red? I want the... That's a good question. I'll have the... Um, Show me which one you want. I think it's the cool one. Puppy, no! Please, let's see. Thank you. Thanks, Joe. Okay, so mix your colours up and then I'm going to show you what to do next. My girls, if they want, they can go mix their colours up. Make sure they're happy with their colour choices. Oh, that's much better. Much more of a purple. And then I'm going to show you what to do. So I'm going to leave my paint on, my, on the side. And I'm going to get some masking tape. And it's really simple. You get your masking tape and you just wrap it around your pole. This is my pole over here. I'm hoping you can see me. Maybe the get my girls can um, break some masking tape off me. Sure. And then we can, once I show everybody, you can... Hey, don't make it go. Please. Do you want 
this is what you do. You wrap around your poles and then you get your paintbrush and your colour and you apply the paint. Now I need to get a thicker paintbrush than I've got for when I was mixing but I've got it here so I'm just going to use it and you just colour in between the gaps. So we have massive big sticks here. We'll be here most of the day painting and when it dries we can start applying our decorative patterns and make the um, base colours look a bit interesting. You may need a second coat as well. See how you go. I'll just put it down there. I'll just use it in a minute. And you just keep going around and around. Now I will, I don't want to make my dark, my light pink too dark. So I will wash that brush. If you're not using it and you are outside, leave your brush in your water so it doesn't dry. See, I need a thick bit on here, Chloe. To connect, oh, it's a bit small. None of, the, the tape has to go all the way around. Otherwise Baba, what it are you won't doing? Work. Okay. Now, Mommy. No, Baba. look at the way the bark goes. Things. If the bark's going up and down, your painting should go up and down as well. Okay, kids, so you can get started on your own ones now that you know what to do. I'm actually going to stop mine and I'm going to help Poppy start hers. Now, having a two-year-old painting with us means that we all have to be a little bit flexible and appreciate her fingerprints on our art, appreciate the fact that she wants to help us and actually involve her in our heart art rather than getting cranky at her because it's a mistake. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's a lesson my kids are still learning. But it's a very important lesson. Okay, Poppy, you want mummy to help you do your one? No. Which pole do you want to do, Poppy? Yeah, bring your paint over and your brush. Which pole is Poppy's pole? Yeah. That's Mummy's pole. Which is your pole? You want to do the bottom of Mummy's? Or you want to do a little one all to yourself? This one? Okay. Let's put your paint on here. Oh, we put it there. You want to wrap some masking tape with Mummy? This one, baby. Put some, don't paint the masking tape. Paint around it. Good girl. Take underneath the bus. Good girl. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> He's got a big knot here. Here you go. He's painting. Good girl. Round and round. Now, the sticky tape. Although we're using different sizes, it doesn't really make a big difference in the gap because depending on where you... How do I explain it? Just because I've used this big of tape doesn't mean I can't have a big gap here. So it doesn't really matter what size your masking tape is. Good girls. It looks like it matters, but it doesn't really matter. The bigger the spaces, the more of one colour you have. 
So later on, if you've got a big space, let's say you've done purple in here, you've done your base coat, it's dry, you might decide, because it's so big, I'm gonna do some lines this way. So you might get some masking tape and start putting it this way. Okay, you could even say, okay, I want some lines of natural tree going this way. So you put it this way. We might even do that to pop it. You wipe on mummy. Wipe it on mummy, that's fine. Good girl. This is why we wear paint clothes in our house. So we can wipe our hands on it. Even I do it. Papa, you want some stripes going down? Yeah. Okay. All the way down there too. All the way down there? Okay, pups. So Jade's doing a lot of smaller gaps, so she'll have um, smaller areas of the colour, so she might do lots of different colours, or she might do the same colours, it's really up to you. Look at your feelings, you're feeling happy, use happy okay. colours, you're feeling sad, sad I'm colours. Gonna, I'm going to use all the colours. You want some more paint? Hang on a second, Bob's. Yeah, have fun with the masking tape. Just remember, anywhere there's masking tape, the tree stays its raw colour. That's, that's Chloe's paint. We'll get you, you got your paint. Just hang on a second, Bob. Yeah, hang on. You might stick this circle on first. That's Jade's one, Poppy. Yeah. You can paint their poles, but don't touch their paint because they're going to make their special colours. And then they will get upset. Where's on my paint? Oh, that one didn't work very well. That's why you got paint for clothes, kiddo. There's a quick way to fix that problem, Chloe. Chloe's worried about wrecking her paint clothes. I think she needs a handprint from Mummy on it. No! <laughs> there you go, Pop, you got some lines. You gonna put some more of these lines on? Okay. Try to keep it within... Okay, the thing with patterns, the best thing to do is keep it within that section. So Chloe's done this big line here. What I recommend is Chloe sticks to, instead, sorry Chloe, is sticks to your section. So lines just in this section is more effective than one line coming all the way down. All right, so we section our patterns. I'm gonna stick this here so that it's a straight line, Chloe. Section your patterns instead so that each section is its own unique Poppy. feature. So Jade, you gotta try and put this as, stick it down as best you can. So the paint doesn't go underneath. So this is your diamond section. Yeah, so leave this as diamonds. Put them somewhere else. But you can do it differently somewhere else. Yeah. Okay. Don't bring them down into here. Bring them down into a lower section. Yeah. Okay. All right, Poppy, how you going? You want some water? Yeah. Come here, bud. Hey, please. No, 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 no. Don't put the paint in the water. Hey, kiddo. Got your own paint? Come on. Want some purple? You want mummy to make you purple? Yeah, come here. Red and blue makes purple. Here you go, Bubsy. Yeah. Keep going. Want some more blue in there? Want the real purple. Here you go. Not mummy's colours. That's the only thing that you're not allowed to touch. Other people's colours. Okay, because they've been mixed. Mummy yes. make you a pink too? You need more red, hang on. Let me get you some colours that you like. God, this is absolutely cool. Jade? That looks cool. Mm. Here you go. Poppy? Here you go, Bob. Oh.
you tell us, Mummy? Mix them up. All right, I think that's you get the idea now. So have fun creating. If you're working with your brothers and sisters and they're younger than you, try to keep them out of your pre-mixed colours. But other than that, I think we just need to accept that when we create with our younger siblings that, you know, they're going to put their fingers on it. They're going to drop the paint. They're going to be messy. So find it a space where it doesn't quite matter. We're wearing paint clothes so my kids can wipe their hands all over me and it doesn't bother me. Try to make it as enjoyable as possible. And um, just remember when you're not using your brush to leave it in your water so it doesn't dry and then it's not able to be used again. And when you finish, make sure you clean up because again, you want to keep those brushes usable for next time. And we've put our paint under an umbrella because we are outside and we don't want the paint to dry up. Uh, dry up. So look after your paint and it is super hot. So we try to get out in the morning. So enjoy, please share your results on my Butterfly Splat Facebook, Instagram page. I'd love to see what you've come up with. And I'll show you some pictures of what the girls and I've created today as well. And I'll keep updating you as we update. And this is, like I said, it's our sanctuary space. It's our space the girls come to, to build in, play in the sand, um, to create shell patterns, to put anything special they find. But it's also a space that we welcome their friends into as well and family members. So we will add to what we have here and we will add more totem poles so that our cousins can come and paint and friends can come and paint and add to what's there or add to um, add their own special stick that they might find and we'll put it in place here or they can take their stick home. So for us, painting is not just something we do alone. It's something we do with our friends and family. It's something very special. It's very med meditative. So I hope you enjoy today's um, school holiday entertainment and I hope you can bring it into your life and have fun creating. Bye everyone. Bye.